What's going on guys, this is Sydney coming once again with yet another video. Um, so, I've been asked to do a teeth video, so I needed to make some witch teeth for a friend that I'm doing makeup on, and this is the, these are the teeth. I wanted, I wanted to make them as quick as possible. I wanted to make them as simple as possible and not cost a ton of money. So this is how I did it, and I just recorded the whole thing. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually looking at the screen right here of the video playing. So while the video is playing, I'm gonna talk over the video and just tell you everything that I'm doing, all the steps, because you know it's kind of sped up, and it's just clips of different things. And this is actually the first time I'm gonna watch it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is just uh, presuming that you guys have already cast someone's teeth uh, using alginate. So this is just um, the process of actually making the fake teeth rather than casting someone's teeth. So you should already have your model's teeth ready. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that later, but as of right now, I'm just gonna show you how I make my teeth. Um, there's sort of, I threw in a little bit of sculpting as well as placing single teeth inside uh, Siobhan Clay because I just wanna show you how I began sculpting teeth, but I wanted to make these really quick, so I used the uh, pre-made teeth that I already had. You'll see, you'll see when you watch the video. So if you guys enjoy it, and I'm gonna watch it, so I'm gonna be looking this way at the screen, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys at the same time. Here it goes. All right, creating this silicone positive. Here we go, guys, let's check this out. All right, so right here, I actually have a little Tupperware that I got from like the dollar store or one of those dollar stores uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it out and then uh, as you can see I'm cutting it out right now I'm just gonna cut it out I'm gonna glue down the teeth and glue down the uh, the Tupperware so that I can pour silicone over the top 10 uh, 1065 silicone over the top of uh, the teeth so I can actually have a mold of the teeth that I cast it uh, these teeth belong to a uh, great uh, makeup artist as well that I'm, I'm doing these teeth for. She wanted to be a witch. Actually, I want her to turn into a witch, so that's what we're doing. All right, so I showed you 1065. I got the uh, 1065 right there, and now I'm going to put in the, uh, the catalyst, um, which is the blue stuff. And the ratio to this is... Uh, I think it's one to ten. One to ten. Yes, one to ten. And so I mixed it up until all the streaks are gone. You can see now it's like this baby blue color. And now I'm actually, you can't see it, but I'm, I'm holding it really high up and doing the long pour, it's called, just so that when you when you pour it like this, it gets all the air out of the silicone. And so you make sure you want to do that. Just pour it so there's not a lot of bubbles that stick to the teeth so that you're going to get a nice uh, cast of these teeth. Alrighty, and there I go. I'm skipping all the rest out, and there it is, the, the catalyst and the 1065 silicone got from Nigel's, or Nigel Beauty. So you might, might want to go check them out. All right, now, it, because it is super glued, or not super glued, but uh, hot glued to the board, it is hell to get off. Because that hot glue really sticks. And this is just a, this is not like a counter or anything, so it's a, uh, it's paper, so I'm actually have to rip up the paper, and there I go, I ripped it up. All right, as you can see, a little bit of the silicone got up under the teeth, which is fine. I'm not worried about it. You just want to make sure you do uh, hot glue down the teeth so the teeth don't float up to the top of the silicone. So if I miss that, make sure you guys do that. And now I'm just cutting a little bit of the excess uh, silicone off from up under the teeth, and I'm pulling out the teeth. should pop out just fine. You really don't need a release on that. I did release them with something, some silicone release, but you really don't have to release the teeth. And now here it is, zip, uh, 301 um, silicone release. You wanna spray this in there pretty darn good into the mold that you just made, because now we're gonna make the actual silicone uh, positive of the teeth, because you want a soft material uh, positive. And so I poured a lot of that um, that 301 in there and just to make sure it gets all in the nook and crannies of it because you do not because if the silicone is just going to bond to silicone if there's no release to it so make sure you guys do that all right so now i'm weighing the uh silicone out because you, you want to do 10 to 1 ratio uh and so now i'm pouring in the catalyst uh catalyst right there 
gonna stir it all up, make sure it's that uh, nice blue color. And then you see it's all mixed. Now I'm gonna do the long pour once again, up top really high so there's no bubbles in it. So I'm doing the long pour, making sure it fills the teeth nice. So you know, it's barely stringing in there, but it's getting in there. I just wanna make sure there's no bubbles in it. And there I go. And so what I'm about to do, um, once I get a little bit in the teeth, I'm gonna get a little spatula and just make sure it's in the teeth. You don't wanna scrape it too hard up in there. See how I'm patting it? You wanna pat it, you wanna make sure there's no bubbles in the teeth so that you have, you have a nice positive when you pull it out. And just don't scrape too hard because you don't wanna you don't want to scrape the, uh, the release off. All right, so what I'm doing right here is I'm just doing the, the high pour again, just making sure all the bubbles are out of it. And now I think it is just make sure it fills up to the top because you want to you want to make a, a, a nice uh, a nice uh, positive to create your teeth on all right and this is taking forever what are you doing there Sydney why do I have this clip in there all right please go he's doing it <laughs> all right so it's nice and solid there we go it's cured and now this is hell to get these teeth out of this because it's silicone on silicone. If you didn't release it really well, good luck. You're gonna have a hard time getting this out. But I, I already pulled it out. It took me a long time. I got it out. So now here it is. Check that out. Woo! Those are positive teeth and it's really soft as you can see right there which is gonna be necessary when pulling the uh, cast off. All right, sculpting and molding the teeth. These are your suggested materials. You don't have to have everything, but these are the ones that you kind of need. All right, so I have the teeth, and now I have either monster clay or chiffon. Either one works really well. And I'm sort of just laying out where, the, where I want the teeth to be. Now, I'm not gonna end up actually sculpting the full teeth for this. I'm just showing you guys how I start out sculpting teeth, which is not a hard process. I'm just mapping out the teeth, as you can see right there, just wrapping, uh, some clay around it and then I begin sculpting. I have a lot of different sculpting tools, tools that I use. Um, and I am actually doing it right there. So, and you know, I have no really style. I sort of just jump into it. I start, you know, carving out the teeth where I want them to be and how I want them to look. Now this is a witch. So these teeth don't have to look great. Uh, they're gonna look all snaggly and weird, which is totally fine with me. Um, and as you can see, now you're starting, we're starting to get a little bit of shape here, so it's starting to look really good. You just gotta like have reference, like how I have those teeth in front of me right there. Those are just reference, and it'll give me an idea of where to place teeth uh, and you know how they should look. And just you want to make them look as natural as possible. But these are more of snaggly, weird teeth, so I'm just trying to make them all crooked and whatnot. All right, so they're starting. It's starting to look good. Uh, I'm gonna end up. I did make a little stone cast of, of t individual teeth, and that's what I'm, I'm going to be putting in there pretty soon, just to make a, a quick process for me. Um, and they'll still look good. They'll still look, you know, just like I want them to look. Uh, I've done a lot of zombie teeth and stuff for this, so no worries. He's uh, still sculpting these teeth. Multiple tools, multiple tools. And I've always been told if you want something, if you want something round, use a round tool. Blah, blah, blah. I forget who said that. I've heard it somewhere, but so that's what I'm doing. I'm rounding everything off with this little round tool that I have. All right. And I think any minute now, I'm just going to jump into putting this individual teeth in there. So, yeah. yeah. It's looking all right. You want to make it thick enough when you're sculpting too. You want to make it thick enough to where it's gonna it, your your original teeth up under are not gonna show through. So make sure you're gonna like that too, but not too thick, so it distorts the mouth. All right, now yeah, as you can see, these are the individual teeth that I'm placing in there that I, I made molds of. So I have a lot of these teeth, these scraggly teeth that are just laying around that I'm just gonna insert. It makes it much easier. This way you only have to sculpt the gums. And for really bad teeth sculpting the gums, you can make really lumpy and just nasty gums. So, um, you know, right there, I'm just sliding them in. Just making sure they fit. It's looking good. And this is just a really easy way of making, um, making teeth. Not too hard. Still just making, just, just 
just place them in there wherever you want them. And now I'm sculpting out the gums. Now the back teeth that are back there, the ones that are further back, I'm just going to sculpt those. So I don't have to add those in the very back. But this is sort of how they're going to look. You see, it just makes it much, much quicker, just easier. Still going to get a good effect. Um, it's going to look, it's going to look really awesome. Uh, so right here, I'm just using a brush and alcohol to sort of smooth everything out. This is uh, this is my first process of smoothing stuff out. Just doing a, just a, a brush over it, and then I'm actually going to get the blowtorch and heat up the clay. Because once you heat up the clay, it gets really smooth. And so this is this is just me sculpting out the back teeth. Um, not really going to be super visible, so no detail is really needed in the very back. You can also paint detail into it. So again, I'm doing these really quick. Nothing super hard. And it's, it's starting to look good, it's starting to look good. You know, I, was, I was thinking about making these teeth a little bit more straggly and weird looking, but uh, this works. So I'm thinking uh, the, the effect that I got from this, uh, that came out really well. All right, there's the torch. And notice how the torch just, when, once it hits it, it smooths everything out and gives it a nice shine. It really makes it look like teeth and gums in. Check it out. And you, you really don't want to build up the gums too heavy because you don't want to distort the mouth. But then again, I, I this is going to be on a witch, so I'm okay. And now right here, I'm going to crystal clear it. I mean, this is just me sealing it, basically sealing it up, giving it, I want to give it a smooth uh, texture when I mold it. And this helps uh, release it from the mold as well. So, yeah, yeah. And you know, it doesn't matter how thick you make the, the crystal clear on this because uh, it's just teeth. It's going to look good all shiny. And now I'm gluing it down to the uh, the board. Gluing it down so it doesn't float up because I'm going to mold it one more time. You know, you, in this process you do use quite a bit of uh, silicone, but you can keep making these teeth all day long if you really want to. Um, making multiple copies of it with uh, all these molds. Okay, so you're just gluing down the Tupperware that I cut the bottom off of. Just makes an easy uh, container for the silicone once, you, uh, once you're molding it. Now I'm spraying it with a little bit of release. Just make sure it pops out really nice. I probably use a little bit too much, but I just didn't want it to stick on anything. I wanted it to just come out really nice. And now right here's a 1065. I'm gonna mix it up again. And generally when I'm doing a mold like this, it's around 300 uh, grams of silicone. And that is the catalyst. But I think this is under 300 grams because the teeth are a little bit bigger. All right, so what I'm doing right here is I'm mixing the silicone. As you can see, it's that baby blue color now. So it's all mixed up. And I'm doing the long pour once again so that there is no bubbles in there. I know this seems like a long process, a lot of silicone and whatnot. But this is actually the easiest way I make uh, teeth. I just like this way. I think it uh, is a really good effect. It fits really well. And you can make as many copies of these teeth as, as you want. So why not do it this way? I just like doing it this way. Clear out. And it's all hard now. There it goes. So it's all cured. It's ready to go. So now I'm just popping it off with this plaque that I have on. And there it goes. I'm just shooting it to pop it off. Pulling it off the teeth. Now the teeth are really stuck on this plaque. I really love it. Again, you want to make sure you glue down the teeth uh, onto the uh, board so that they don't float to the top. And there it is, all the teeth are destroyed, but it's a good cast. Uh, there's no bubbles in it or anything. And I, again, I'm pulling off the teeth and I'm saving the teeth just in case I want to do some other weird, uh, creepy teeth creature. All right, now I'm making the rigid acrylic teeth. This is actually making a uh, cast of the teeth. All right, so now what I have here is laying tooth shade. This is like a tooth powder. This is basically the, uh, the acrylic. And I'm just gonna scoop it into this little container I have right here. I'm doing 
and it's all you know measuring and stuff it's all about I just use my eye and sort of guess at it now I'm using the monomer so the monomer is gonna basically turn this two shade into a like liquid acrylic and I just want to mix it up really well and you want to be in a well ventilated area when you do this because this stuff does not smell very nice at all so I got it all mixed up I'm gonna pour it into my mold right here and I didn't use a release at all for this. This is just straight into the mold because it's just going to come right off the silicone. It's not going to bond to it. And I got my little tool again to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. So I'm going to poke a little bit in there to make sure it's fitting into every little groove of the teeth. Now you can do it a little bit harder. But uh, and now, as you can see, my silicone positive. This is why I have it. So the original teeth, I put it into this mold, press down. Generally, you're going to get some leakage. Uh, around it that comes out if you filled it up uh, enough but I think I have enough in here for this one and now it, it's gonna take a while to set up let it cure so I'm just gonna set it here let it cure and then come back to it and see what happened all right so now I'm pulling the the teeth out and on the teeth now you have a full representation of what your teeth are gonna look like in acrylic so that's pretty nice. Now I'm just, you can, as long as you do it uh, right after, you can generally break off of the, uh, the all excess piece. But if you leave it in there too long, you're gonna have to cut it off with scissors or a razor blade. But because it's semi, semi sort of uh, not hardened all the way, it's kind of softer, you can just pull it right off. So that's what the teeth are looking like right now until I get them painted. And you can make as many copies of this as you want to. All right, now I'm gonna be painting the teeth. Uh, for this, I used uh, some PPI Skin Illustrator. Uh, now there is uh, acrylic paints and stuff like that you can buy for it that are you know sort of shiny, glossy and stuff. But this is the easy way. This is the cheaper way. Um, and then again, I'm doing a really simple paint job on this, just going really quick with it. Uh, just throwing down some paint on here, some sort of like nasty sort of rose color for the gums throwing it down so let's see exactly just paint it with a regular brush uh, these are alcohol based palettes by the way and so it's it's going down really easy you can remove it with alcohol if you mess up that's why I like to use these paints on there so if you do mess up you can just clean it right off it's really awesome and then you want to make these teeth look all nasty right I am using a tooth uh, palette from uh, PPI as well, um, like a tooth stain palette, but I'm also using a lot of different colors from different palettes, um, just to give it a nice nasty witch color. And I do, as you can see, I have a little snaggle tooth in this sculpt, this little tooth that's coming out the top. It's a small one, I just wanted to throw it in there, just see what it looked like. And you know what, I wasn't, I can always cover it with uh, like, you know, or even uh, dremel it down with a different color if I don't like it. So. But I thought it came out alright, so I'm just going to leave it in there. Now I'm doing some uh, nasty yellow color on uh, these teeth. And I'm just making them look really nasty and rotted to you know, make it look like she had brushed her teeth in forever. That's really cool. And you know, I was thinking about doing some like green gums as well for one of these. And I'm going to do a variation of all these teeth to see which one plays well with the makeup that I'm going to do for this witch. But I think the, t the teeth look great. These look great, so I might use these, but also you might use some green gums. Who knows? Who knows? And I'm using thin washes. I'm not going too hard with these colors. I'm using some really thin washes, and I'm doing these really quick. So it's not a lot of detail because you're only going to see a flash of these teeth, so it's not super important. Just like the inside, the under under part of them, I'm not going to paint those too well because it's again, it's something that you're barely going to see. And I might even put a tooth. Uh, like a mouthwash in her mouth to sort of darken everything in her mouth. So maybe you won't even see these teeth that much. But, uh, you know, just in case, I'm going to do a decent paint job, not a terrible one. All right, it's, it's actually coming out really well. I'm really liking these teeth. Uh, just light washes of different colors, you know. All right, now this is some Krylon clear coat. This is like fingernail polish, but um, I'm just I'm just gonna use it to clear coat these teeth. 
and I'm only splotching it. I'm just splotting it because if you brush it too hard, you're gonna brush off some of the uh, the paint that you painted on there. Because it's you know it's still it's gonna activate it a little bit, so you don't want to pull off the paint. So I'm just dabbing it on there a little bit, just some little splotches, so it seals it up, seals the paint in there. And being that this uh, the polish is for acrylic uh, nails, it works well on these acrylic teeth. And now I'm dabbing it a little bit, giving it a little bit more of a texture, taking off some of the uh, polish. I don't want it too thick on there. But it, it gives it a really nice, uh, like, you know, shiny, slobbery look. And this, this is another pair I just did of it. I'm sort of just looking at the two different colors. So that's it. That's, that's the teeth. It's, uh, it's really quick. Uh, they're one of the quickest way I do teeth. So there they are. They look good. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Um, anything else you want to know, just uh, message me below. And until next time, guys, catch you later.